Do you need blood tests if you are losing your hair? And if you do, which ones do you need and why? Hi, my name is William Gonitz. I am the CEO and founder of Evolution Hair Loss Institute. I'm a certified trichologist and I've been helping people regrow hair for over 22 years. So in the time that I've been helping people regrow hair, at first, back in the day, I didn't think that we needed blood work for everybody because realistically, when you look at somebody and you're treating all of the things that could possibly be wrong, why do you need blood work? Because realistically, you're just going, okay, I'm gonna treat all of the conceivable facts anyway so what potentially could be a problem in their blood that is going to need special attention so for the first six to eight years of my practice that was my overall philosophy but I ended up discovering that when you put together a series of very effective treatments so you're handling nutritional supplements you're using topical minoxidil low-level laser therapy scalp massages basically mitigating all the plausible reasons for hair loss and it doesn't work work, you go, what's wrong? Why is this not working for someone? So that is when all of a sudden we started testing for a series of different things. And when we started testing for those things, we started to really understand that literally everyone who is losing hair should get some type of blood work. And blood work is potentially upwards in the United States of 1,008 different blood tests. Meaning that when somebody says, did you get blood tests? And you say, yes. Well, that doesn't mean anything because realistically, which blood test did you get and what are your levels? So when you are going through and looking at blood work related to hair loss, there is a plethora of different things that you should be looking at, but mainly the absolute fundamental basics that you should get in any situation are these right now. One, you need to go ahead and get a vitamin D3 test. Two, you need a zinc test. Also, you need a ferritin test. So those are the big three. Now, potentially, if you are dealing with any type of hair loss on the top of your scalp, you should probably get a testosterone and an estradiol test. That is gonna help understand, do you have the proper ratio of estrogen to testosterone for your particular situation that would make DHT plausibly easy to manage. And then if you have any type of itching, burning, scalp irritation, loss along the sides, even just fast loss on the top of the head, then you should be not only looking at those nutritional factors, but you should also be getting a CBC. You should also be getting a lipid and metabolic panel, a thyroid panel, and also an ANA. The reason for that is if you're dealing with some type of inflammation, you're dealing with an underlying condition that basically is going to be expressing high levels of inflammation that that need to be managed, you should know that. And then on top of that, if you are dealing with an underlying thyroid issue, say your TSH is high, and then obviously you're dealing with a low T4, something along those lines, you need to know that now because essentially we can do all the things for you. And if it's not going to work, we better know now and correct those situations now so you're gonna get a better result in the end. And people oftentimes rush into minoxidil or low-level laser therapy or PRP, and they either get no result or they get a moderate result when they could have gotten an exceptional result. And in some cases, I've actually seen people get worse. And what they could have done is gotten the appropriate blood work ahead of time. They could have given themselves the right nutritional factors that will lead to a positive and more robust amount of nutrients in your blood. So when you're using minoxidil or PRP or low-level laser therapy, that those conditions are actually able to be rehabilitated faster and more effectively because you have the raw materials in the form of nutrition in your blood or lower inflammation or lower DHT impact that will allow you to get an overwhelming greater result from the other treatments. So you want to get the blood work, you want to get it up front, and you want to see the blood tests on this screen so you know what priorities you need to focus on to get the best results possible. This is not a short game. This is a long game, and when you're using this information, you are going to actually achieve a far better result and get a overwhelmingly better handle on your hair loss situation. If you've got questions, put them down in the comments. I'm happy to help in any way.